What's up, everybody? I am your host, Joseph from Fiction Inc. Flow. I got my boy, Zach, with me today. What's up, y'all? And we are talking about our favorite Funko Pop villains. Man, I love this. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like down below, comment down below if you yes, got please. some of these. You definitely don't got more than Joseph <laughs> Kearney. And hit that subscribe button for Fiction Inc. Inc. Flow. Flo. Hit him with what you got. All right, so one of my favorite Funko Pop villains is Mystique from the X-Men. Oh, damn. You know, she is... That. Yeah, she is always... You know, I just love the way they did her with the X-Men movies, mm -hmm. specifically. They gave her this whole, like, you know, this scaly thing. I like that scale. Like, yeah, they never scary. had that in the actual comics until oh, cool. after the movie oh, came I didn't know out. that. So it kind of gives you that whole chameleon changing skin like thing that. that's what it looks better. They kind of made more organic use yeah. out of it. So it Gave me the creeps, too. And it's like, yeah, you calling. see it. So... This is my Mystique pop from that scene. And you see she's in that pose where she's like kind of bent down. This was also in the movie. But it is definitely one of my nice. favorite ones. You can nice. see all the detail really good. And they have some of the other ones that come along in the set. Let's talk some about the history of Mystique. Like the only thing I know is that it's Nightcrawler's mother, right? Kind of. She's yes. not really a villain. Not yes. really a hero. But now, I guess now she's a hero. I can you give us some it's, history? Yes, yeah, a little, little bit, bit. A little, real quick about our history. She uh, was actually born a mutant, so she was a regular mm -hmm. person. Then, you know, like puberty, like most mutants oh, back okay. in the day, adolescence hit and then her powers came out. Yeah. So she was changing and changing, and she could not understand what was going on mm -hmm. with her. But because she was kind of like ostracized anyway and kind of on her own, yeah. this was like her gift to keep moving. Oh, okay. Right? Because she could like be anybody she wanted. Oh, makes sense. So she could be, and then the crazy part, she was able to change gender too. Okay. She right. could be a man. So cool, it's like, cool, you know, cool. she was able to do whatever she wanted to do. And stop it. Cause I don't know too much about Mystique. Can she, it was my understanding that she can even do slight, not projectiles, but Rollerings claws, not animantium, but they're still yeah. durable. Like what is, do you know, do you know more about that? I heard she yes. can do wings. I think in one. Yeah, she can. Yeah, she can. Like what? So her, like ever changing sales. Yeah. Allow her to make like hard, objects out of her bones and body but not animantium they're, they're no like, so they're not going to be like the same metal yeah. but it's a, it's an extension of her oh, okay but it acts it mimics the the process of what she's doing okay right on cool so cool. it's not going to be the exact same sweet you know That's so cool. um let's more history of that um she kind of was living as a woman for a while and mm -hmm. i think she was in germany okay and so she started to a relationship with this guy okay. she met him he just like won her over he was like from this like illustrious family like really wealthy and so as you know she was poor always like surviving yeah, yeah, yeah. she just took to him and he cared for her like this was great so they had got married and they had a child okay and you know he kind of left before the child was born oh, wow. and he was like supposed to be on some kind of trip but when the child was born it was night crawl so people were like, what? Like, you know, seeing this, yeah, this like devil, blue yeah. thing with this yeah. like, with this tail and the fingers, like, what is this? You know, like she must be some kind of witch. Yeah. And because of all the stress, she lost and lost her form. So no. she actually revealed herself and they like proof, like, you know, she's a witch. So she ran away with him, but she wanted to keep her life. So she wrapped him up and threw him away. Dang. Yeah, like just abandoned him. Yeah. So she kind of never felt like, you know, she never built a bond with him that that was her son. Can, can we take a pause for that for a second? I, I don't know if you know how deep history you might know, but I, I, I want to know. I'm enthralled. Was that written before or after Night, Nightcrawler? Like, like, when we have Nightcrawler's origin, he's right. blue. Did they essentially say, okay, you're blue? You know, I don't think, know. I think that came later. That came later? That came in, like, the late 90s. There was this book mm -hmm. called X-Men Unlimited. Oh, really? Oh, it was sure. like, okay. um, they, what they were doing, because the X-Men books were really popular in the 90s. They yeah. like took off. They were at the highest point. So they had this book called dun, Unlimited. Dun, dun, right, dun, dun. cartoon and everything. So they had this book called X-Men Unlimited, which was like a once monthly book. And they would just spotlight different stories. Okay. Like, you know, just um, like, it were kind of like what else, but they existed as like in the current oh, universe. Nice. Cool. So one of, it was a two-parter about Rogue and Nightcrawler talking about their history. Yeah. So not only is Mystique Nightcrawler's mom, she is Rogue's adopted mother. What? So, yeah, so she, like I said, cause her, her shape-shifting abilities allow her to live long. She ages slowly. So she can be a long way. Man, like, that sounds boom. overpowered already. I'm calm. I'm calm. Way out of here. <laughs> plot armor, plot device. But right. yeah, she ages slowly. So she actually raised Rogue. Like Rogue kind of was on her own too, like an abandoned child. She saw that kinship in her yeah. and she raised her. Cool. So they kind of would bond and they talked about like, wait a minute, you were raised by this. this yeah, like I know something like that. Like, wait a minute, you were raised by the same person. Dang. And that's when they discovered it. That's very cool. And like she that. has one other biological child. 
This was a canon from the 90s that nobody hey, knows. Listen, nobody listen, knows. Pause the video now. Let us know in the comments, okay? <laughs> so pause it now. A spoiler. Go ahead. Big spoiler. So. Is another blue one? You said no blue, right? Not blue. Dang, not blue. This child actually was born human. What? So, Mystique and a famous X Men villain, Victor Creed, but are known as Sabretooth. No, lies. Yes. Lies. No, that is so true. What? Yes, because there was a person in the 90s in the X Men books. His name was Graydon Creed. He was kind of like this guy who was trying to run for office, and he was running on his anti Dude, time out, campaign. Time out. What, what, what about what about James Howard? That whole o o origin. Series? That's later. That's later. Way later. Oh, but this guy was running on an anti mutant campaign, and because he hated mutants, because of, he knew who his parents were, he oh, knew that they were mutants, and he didn't have any power, so he was almost kind of like jealous. Okay. So he just ran on his whole like I hate them. Let's we got to kill mutants, get rid of them, yeah. and there was this back and forth yeah. between it. And Victor was like, look, Sabretooth was like, look, you take care of my I will. Like, you know, we can't have this dude around. Like, wow. you're going to. And so she did the ultimate goal. She assassinated her son. You know she what? She killed him. Yes. I think this is good. I mean, I never thought of that was a mistake. I thought Mystique was just kind of cool. But the backstory is dope. The writing is good. She got a power upgrade, essentially. She's, yeah. Like, like, I think she has minor healing factor, probably. Yeah. Too. Yep. I yep. mean, de-aging. What other Funko Pops you got? Okay, my next one. This one's this dope, was a, from a recent story. You will be hard pressed to find this one, so I'm sorry if you can't find it. Gone. So uh, not too long ago, Captain Marvel. Yeah. Right. She's in the Avengers. Um, she, she you know she is part Kree and part human. Yeah. So there was this Kree thing that was happening on the, in the galaxy, and they came to kind of like look for all their children all around the galaxy, and so they found her, and they kind of put her with a proposition. They said, "You kill all the Avengers, or we kill everybody on the planet." And it's like, wait a minute, that's kind of crazy. Like, what is it about the Avengers? But yeah. she didn't have time to question this. So they captured her, tortured her for a couple of days, and they gave her this, like, it resembles the symbiote from Venom. It's like this black thing, yeah, but it I was wasn't, looking at it. I was looking it wasn't at it. gooey, but it kind of encased in her, and she could not break out of it. So in the comic of this run, she sits out to actually murder all the Avengers. And so I think one of her first people to take on was Iron Man. And she took him out, destroyed the suit, and it's like boom, their power. And he like it was like disintegrated. Like what? The, what happened to him? Yeah. Spoiler. She worked with someone. I won't tell you who it is. And like put them in another dimension. What? It was crazy. That's the only because they so were watching. She didn't kill. It looked like she. It looked like she did. Throw him in because a dimension. They were monitoring her through the suit, so she couldn't fake. She couldn't try to communicate, like yeah, say yeah, something, yeah, yeah. so they would know everything. Smart. So she worked with someone. I hint, it's a telepath. Dang. All right, so help them to like move them to another dimension where they could be, cool. and she was able to go in and talk to them and tell her her plan before she got out. What does so, it look like? What does it look like? Show us look this like y'all. Dark, dark Captain Marvel. I almost feel like this should be a what if if it, she actually yeah. did kill them all. This would be pretty cool. So what this if. is a collector's edition. You see, it says limited. It is limited. You will like not the find star this face. Everywhere. The mohawk is yeah. really cool. The mohawk with the star face. This is that was the suit they gave her because all the creatures look like this. From wait, this, hold on. Wait. That sounds like wait, like the Starface looks like it sounds like Starro to me a little bit. Uh, not oh, Starro, though. Not Starro. That's too crazy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's good. Where can we find more of these pops? So, like, what, if you want to know more about my favorite villain Funko pops, you check out my next video on Fiction Ink mm -hmm. Flow. Oh, don't forget to follow you on Instagram at Facebook and like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Peace. Peace.